What's going on guys? This is Poker Stacked and I'm going to be talking about the best Australian poker sites to be playing in 2020, specifically Ignition Poker. Okay, so I've actually had some people on the channel ask me this question that are in Australia and Ignition is not just available there, but it is actually available in the US as well and it's one of the best places to be playing. So <clears throat> I'm going to talk about them a little bit, then we're going to get into some actual game plan, some one to no limit. If you guys could also smash the like button as you're watching this, I would definitely appreciate that. All right, so Ignition's been around for getting close to like four years now. And, um, you know, the software for playing on here is incredible, whether you're on mobile, desktop, you know, your laptop. You know, the software is really just top notch, and we will see that shortly here. But they also do $2 million in guaranteed prize money every single week, which is really crazy. It's a ton of money. They got some cool poker strategy articles on their website as well. But what you really want to check out is the poker bonus for getting started here. Now, I have a special bonus you can get because I've been playing here for so long, so I'll have a link in both the description and comments if you guys want to check that out so you can get the most money possible if you decide to you know, actually play on here. But if you have any questions as well, feel free to message me below. Now, as far as giving you a review, like I said, this is an incredible place because the software is great. You can play up to four tables at a time. Uh, that's going to be whether on your phone or you know an actual computer. The cash out options are amazing. In most cases, you can get your money out out of the uh, the site within under forty eight hours. That's what I've you know experienced you know from actually cashing out in here, and I've cashed out quite a bit of money over the years. Now. One to no limit. I play a lot of two, five, and five, ten. Those are kind of like the games that I play on here. And, uh, you know, I'm going to just break down some hands, like I said. But the, the games honestly don't really get that difficult until you start to get up to like the $200 buy in level. Everything under that is pretty easy to beat on here. So I just want to let you know that right now. Okay, so I had a queen 10 offsuit here. Paired my queen, which was nice, right? And I actually played this session pretty well. I played a little bit crazy when we got towards the end of it. But, you know, I think for the most part, I played some good poker here. All right, so player two, betting into it. We hit a queen on the turn here, so really not afraid of the, you know, whatever this guy has, to be honest with you. All right, so he checked it, so I knew I had to put in a bet here to try to get some kind of value out of this hand. Bet 19 bucks, uh, hoping he would make the call here if he paired his ace or something. I guess it's possible I missed, like, you know, a straight if I had, like, a jack-10 or something. But he didn't call it, so he must have had absolutely nothing. All right, this next hand, I had a 10-8 suited. And, uh, you know, I felt like playing it. Now, I do play a lot of the six-person cash games on here. I do recommend checking those out there. You know, uh, you have to be more aggressive in them, but... You know, I, I do prefer them to, you know, full tables for whatever reason. I, I just do better at them. Now, the other thing I forgot to mention, you can actually customize the color of tables. I left it on the gray when I was playing, but you can change the color of tables, card decks. So there is some customization on here and they do anonymous screen names. So you can't like track anybody, which is another thing that I like about this, uh, mainly because, you know, what you want to do is just play good poker. Uh, every time you're in a session, whether it's for 15 minutes or 45 minutes. And uh, now having this 10-8, <clears throat> we actually hit the straight on the turn. There is a flush draw possibility out there. But to be honest with you, I wasn't really afraid of a flush here unless another card came, you know, club, but didn't get there. And I felt pretty good about my hand. Ended up checking it over and we won that one. So a couple, uh, couple wins, always nice. All right, King 3, I insta-folded right there. Now, as far as, like, the tournaments on here, they have some of the biggest ones on the weekend. They do, like, a 250K special tournament. They do a uh, 150, 100K, like, every single week, so those are good to buy into. But you're going to see most of the big tournaments on here happening on the weekend, so just kind of, like, a heads-up. If you like to play tournaments, they do have a bunch of good ones during the week, but you know, the weekends are the best. And then they have specialty tournaments that they, they do throughout the year. They just kind of announce them whenever kind of similar to, you know, how other poker sites do it. All 
All right, so I promise we have a good hand coming up here that I honestly thought I played pretty well. I think maybe I just got outplayed a little bit, but... All right, six three in the big blind, not not the uh, the greatest cards. Pretty much an insta fold right here, but I think this guy folded it. Yeah, okay. We got the big blind special right there, and we got to get our big blind back. All right, ace queen suited, looking real pretty in the small. All right, so player four put in a raise. Pretty standard call for us with this hand. All right, so we paired the queen. And instead of getting diamonds, hearts came out. It would have been awesome if we had, uh, we had diamonds right here. Top pair with the nut flush, I would have been awesome, but didn't happen. Okay, so... King on the turn, ace queen not looking so good anymore. You know, a lot of cards, you know, beat me and I don't really have, you know, a whole lot here that I'd be willing to call with. So I'd really be just trying to get a 10. So this was pretty much a fold for me. I didn't really even have to think about it. So I did give that hand up. I gave this hand up. Crappy turn card with that king. All right, so this is going to be the final hand, you know, in this uh, this session that I thought I played really well. I just, I just, you know, for whatever reason, this guy just had my number, and you know, I like to see ten nine hand, you know, when I when I have these cards, I do like to see flops with it. But as you know, I'm talking about this hand one more time and kind of circling back to the whole point. I've had lots of people, you know, ask me about ignition or, you know, anyone who's watching any of the videos on the channel about where to play if they're in Australia. And that's why I'm talking about Australians, right? Now you can play ignition poker if you're in the US, but if you are in Australia, they also let players play here. And I recommend it. You know, I've been playing here for a long time and I'm gonna continue playing here because, you know, I love playing here. You know, they've got great game selection. Um and I almost play on a daily basis, honestly, here. Now, <laughs> I missed everything. It was a good flop for 10-9. I decided to put in a, a big bluff bet here. 54 bucks, man. It was a good bet. And the jerk called me. <laughs> All right, anyways, if you guys could smash a like button, uh, subscribe to the channel for more poker content. We'll see you in the next one.